welcome to the EEPROM 9. Sorry for the last rather negative video, but, uh, well, it was just one of the instantaneous points where you're angry. Let's get on to something more positive, such as the acquisition of a new superior scope made by, of course, Haymeg, German engineering at its finest. No problems? Perfect. Now this... I have to put a thank you out to the comms lab teacher of the university. He's retiring, well, thinking about retiring, I think he probably will go ahead with it. And so... He... essentially being generous and have we drifted on channels? No. Oh no, it was positive, negative earlier. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something to do with the channels or something. But anyway, yeah, this is. A, so he donated this. It's fully functional. I've tested it. He gave me a little rundown of what some of the controls did that I don't know. One thing I love about Haymix, there's a Tektronix there, but the Tektronix is just this little forest of knobs and buttons and god knows what any of it does these make functional easy to see layouts that i like and it's easy to use in scope terms can't fault it and it's a haymeg 20 megahertz oscilloscope hm 203-5 there was a six but what was really different was the button layout and i preferred this button layout pretty much and it has a component tester built in which gives you the circles and wavy lines when you do stuff so essentially the component testers which people pay hundreds for hundreds is with this already yeah it's all good Shall I show you what's inside this wonderful beast? I reckon so. But remember, always be careful of the EHT. I'm now going to power it off, turn off the camera and do this separately because there might be some fiddly points, especially with these. So, see you in a mo. Righty then, it wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it would be. But we have the good old big ass CRT, be careful around, I'm not going to touch anything on the circuit boards because I cannot see an obvious place where there's any EHT stuff. First of all the transformer seems to just go straight into it, so uh, yeah. But I can tell you the specific points, so we'll give you a little tour of the circuit board. And we use this screwdriver with a plastic handle as a pointer. In fact, I've got a better idea. We use a non-contact device. Take the camera off here. So first off here, we have the two horizontal input channels, basically your two input channels is a dual channel scope which goes to your main scope circuit board which seems to bring everything together as well as control things like the brightness and contrast such as there that's the little push button there push buttons I love how there's these huge great rods going from the front all the way to the back you've got power transistors up there of some kind this is also looking at date codes on the chips from the 80s. All the chips are socketed. There's your proper analogue front end in that shielding. Here's the CRT. You can actually see clearly through the parts which are unshielded. So we we'll are trying to laser through and you can see the dot on the screen. So you can see into it. It's sort of shielded. These shields are actually to more for implosion protection than anything because these CRTs aren't implosion protected. This circuit board, not sure what it does, but it has something to do with the CRT, so... 
no need to be playing with that. I love the multi circuit. Flip it round to the front. Just do that. We have the time based circuit board. So these are your two major circuits. That's your motherboard, which seems to bring everything to go. Doesn't seem to be any digital controls all analog. Also, your power supply partially goes into this board and the bottom board. Focus, goddamn you. Okay, hang on, let's try this. Sometimes this works. There we go. No, come on. For God's sake. Tell me if I have pressed and held the right button. You know, I'm going to press and hold both buttons and see what it does. There we go, that worked. So here's one of your range selections, which is your... We've look at these lovely multi-pots. You can actually see you connected inside them. This is just beautiful fiberglass PCB. This is engineering at its finest. Uh, looks like HV caps, some chips and stuff. Yeah, it's all a very neat and nice design. Not switch mode power supply, but surprisingly light for such a scope. Uh, it's got a pretty big hefty CRT in it, as I shall show you from the back. As you can see, it's quite thick at the back. The CRT shall stay in it, because it's useful in it. But overall, this is an excellent scope, and in full good working order. Now it's just time to fixy up. Ha, huh, and look what the power switch is, it's a proper power switch. Break that red one. Love the design. Wonderful. And even all the connectors are pluggable. It's designed for maintenance, basically. The user can maintain it, remove circuit boards and so on and so forth. It is good old 1980s proper engineering and well that is what is required so I'll leave you there put it back together and we'll do a little conclusion to this video there's a power transformer in fact the design is actually very much similar to the design of my other one too mm. Designs carry on, don't they? So overall, in conclusion, I also got both the probes included with it, which is fantastic. It is an excellent scope. I would like to th throw out a big thank you to the communications tutor who gave this to me. And I shall put it through lots of lovely use. And it's gone back to being inverted now, the channel at the bottom, which is good, because that's what it's supposed to do. I don't know, there's probably some button that's pressed before. Yeah. That's what it was. It's pretty much a button which was pressed before. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. That explains it then. Invert on, off. So if we do that. It's triggering on channel 1, but if we do this, channel 2, it will stabilise. If we knock it back, knock that one off, channel 2 triggering. That's fun to play with, and also you've got manual trigger. Wee! If you're dealing with awkward signals. So overall, an absolutely bloody excellent scope. I'm going to go searching on the internet for any sort of instructions and service manuals for this thing because I want to increase its max brightness it can give to the tube so because at the moment we're pretty we're close to full but you can use it not on full unlike my other scope which is good but it's always nice to have a really big variable on the brightness <laughs> so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this more positive video and I suppose every time we need a rant <laughs> thanks for watching